Hello and welcome back. This is the second part of my build log of the Trumpeter 1 to 200 scale model Titanic. And today what I'm going to do is I'm going to test out some of the products that I'm thinking of using for the glazing in my portholes. Obviously, unlike a static boat, I need to make sure that these portholes are going to be waterproof because otherwise I'm going to end up with quite a, um, a sinky Titanic, which wouldn't be ideal. So I've got a couple of products in mind and I'm going to test them out today to see which one I think is the best. The first one I'm going to go with is this stuff, Micro Crystal Clear. I think originally this comes from Model Railways. Um, and if I'm honest, I do have my doubts about this stuff because it smells an awful lot like PVA glue. Um, but the instructions do say very clearly that it is water soluble when wet, but once dry, it becomes waterproof. So I'll give it a test and see what happens. Uh, to test it, what I've done is I've taken a scrap piece of plastic and I've drilled out um, seven holes. And these holes are the same size as the largest holes I've drilled out on the model. They're about four millimetres. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the micro crystal clear to this, let it dry so that the holes are all sealed up. Then I'll fill this container with a bit of water and see if it leaks. And if it doesn't leak, we may well be on to a winner. So without any further ado, let's crack on. later and the substance has now fully dried. It did take quite a long time to dry but I think as much as anything that was just from me putting too much on to start with so it's probably not the substance's fault. So I've got a jug of water and I've got my box with my portholes drilled in. All I'm going to do is fill this up and see if it leaks. You're joining me 10 minutes later. Oh dear. Um, yeah, this this stuff isn't waterproof. Um, almost the instant that I poured the stuff into the box, all of the portals went cloudy again, which immediately kind of made me think this isn't the product for me because there's no point shining light out of a milky portal. Um, and within five minutes one has started leaking so we're back to the drawing board on this and i'll have to find a new product so my next attempt at filling the portals uh, i'm going to use uv resin i'll do exactly the same experiment as before fill up these holes with the uv resin cure it with this uv light and then fill up the box with water and see if it leaks
moment of truth. Let's see if it can deal with water. So I'm just going to leave that for a while and see if there are any leaks. About four hours later now, and as yet, there are absolutely no leaks from having used the ultraviolet resin. So this looks like a winner. Um, it looks like it might well be the way I'm going to do this. Quite happy with that. Right, so that's it for this episode. Um, I have to say I was a bit disappointed by the micro crystal clear. Um, that really didn't put up much of a fight at all. But the UV resin seems really good. I actually left the water in the box for a good few days after I took that clip. Um, and there was still absolutely no leaks at all. So that looks like it's going to be the product I'm going to use. Um, the next step is to add prop shafts. Um, I'm not entirely sure when that video is going to come out because I've only just ordered my prop shafts and I don't know how long it's going to take to arrive. So um, just wait and see how long that one takes. But thanks very much for watching. Um, if you've enjoyed, uh, please like and subscribe and I shall see you in the next one. Thanks very much.